In this morning's Breakfast Bible Bites, we will look at Psalm 51, 14, where David expresses the joy that clemency can bring from the beneficiary. Exoneration for the guilty conscience results in shouts of praise for our Redeemer. Verse 14 reads, Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. Then my tongue will joyfully sing of your righteousness. David is probably speaking of the guilt uh, in the death of Uriah, the husband of Bathsheba, that he sent to his death by purposely placing him in harm's way and now openly confesses his guilt. David understands the power of his own office that a king can remit a sentence of death, yet he cannot assuage his own guilt. He must appeal to the king of kings. David has apparently been given insight and can now see the divine way of justification, the righteousness of God that, will, uh, that the apostle Paul would later address, which is the only means by which the ungodly can be justified. Should the Lord deliver him, he vows to sing joyfully about God's righteous way of mercy. We read in the New Testament consensus on the principle in Romans 3, 22 through 26. It reads, God's righteousness through faith in Jesus to all who believe, since there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. They, that is believers, are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in, G in Christ Jesus. God presented him as a propitiation through faith in his blood to demonstrate his righteousness because in his restraint, God passed over the sins previously committed. God presented him, that's Jesus, to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time so that he would be righteous and declare righteous the one who has faith in Jesus. Some of the newer praise songs that are sung in the more progressive assemblies seem to sing our own praises about our salvation rather than address God's redeeming mercy. But our theme should always be about the Lord and his righteousness, in whose merits we stand reconciled and accepted. The psalmist writes in Psalm 71, verse 15, My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and your salvation all day long, for I do not know the sum of them. Psalm 51, 15 reads, O Lord, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. David seems afraid to even open his mouth until he is sure of divine deliverance. His only desire is to speak, praise clearly on behalf of the prophesied Savior. Jesus would later use clarity of speech as an identifying mark of deliverance through a messianic, a messianic prophecy, thus labeling himself as the promised Messiah to the imprisoned John the Baptizer in Luke 7:22. Go and report to John the things you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, those with skin diseases are healed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor are told the good news. Jesus at this point was quoting prophecy that uh, from, from Isaiah 32, 1 through 4, about his coming millennial reign, when all of the earth will bow the knee and praise him. Indeed, a king will reign righteously and rulers will rule justly. Each will be like a shelter from the wind, a refuge from the rain, like streams of water in a dry land in the sh shade of a massive rock and in an arid land. Then the eyes of those who will see, though they'll not be closed, and the ears of those who will hear will listen. The reckless mind will gain knowledge, and the stammering tongue will speak clearly and fluently. From my thoughts and yours, I hope. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, and bring righteousness, peace, and understanding to the earth.